High Water Energies, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at whether or not your person here, your person, your soulmate, your twin flame, your romantic energy here will come back into your life. So this is especially aimed at those of you who have connected with someone very special, okay, someone who has... Uh, evoked a lot of strong emotional responses within you, someone whom you maybe fallen in love with or you've never felt this type of way before and then for whatever reason you guys parted, whether it was external influences, whether it was things just not panning out, whether it was differences, whatever it was that separated you, we want to take a look now and see whether the two of you will reconnect, whether fate, the hands of fate and destiny will allow for your paths to cross again Okay, as always guys, this is going to be general reading, so please just keep that in mind. Therefore, it probably m might not apply to every one of you, but hopefully there will be some messages in here that might resonate with you and that might be helpful to you one way or another. If you are interested in a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email just below the video here. Okay, so I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. We want to know whether your person here will come back. So I want you to focus on the energy here. Close your eyes and just focus on your person and their energy. And we want to know whether they're going to come back into your life. And hopefully the cards will be able to maybe try to hint at if so, when, or how this might happen. Oh, did I have a few cards that have flipped? Okay, so you have the three of pentacles. <clears throat> the Five of Swords. Five of Cups. Temperance. Okay. Something tells me strongly here that you have been patient or you have been patiently waiting, okay? And if that's not the case, then maybe you should be a little bit more patient here. Some of you, I feel like you're very, you're very eager. You're very keen to reconnect with this person. You're very keen to hear from them, okay? There's a very strong emotional connection that the two of you have formed there's a lot of strong emotions involved here from what i can see there's also a lot of hurt or a lot of pain here now because you're coming up as the five and the six of, uh, the six of cups here the five of cups tells me that this is someone who unfortunately has let you down and i'm blocking the light this is someone who has let you down this is someone who might have uh, ghosted you they might have hurt you they might have really left abruptly this is someone who i feel like some of you feel as though you weren't chosen by this person some of you unfortunately were involved in a third party situation and um or you were dealing with someone who i feel like is still stuck on their ex or they're still stuck on lingering emotions from the past so what do i mean by that maybe they're not necessarily caught up on their ex they're still caught up in the emotions that has happened in that relationship hurt pain betrayal rejection disappointment all of that so and this is why i feel like this is what's really strengthening that want that desire to reconnect some of you feel as though you didn't get an opportunity to fully explore this connection with them because this person wasn't necessarily open i feel like it's a case guys of right person wrong time i feel like so much of so much of this comes down to the wrong timing you were you were ready this person was not or they were ready and you were not okay maybe you're the one who is still who was or who still might be caught up with the next and although this person has come back i feel like you were dealing with a strong water energy guys a strong cancers coming through pisces and scorpio um and maybe this person was ready and you were not it just feels like another time another place would have been great however something was off with the timing Okay, this is why, it, and this is why it feels like you were either robbed of the opportunity to get to know one another, or they like ended things really abruptly. Um, they just sort of ghosted you or disappeared, or they just there was so much emotional intensity that they weren't ready for everything 
that you had to give to them. Again, I'm getting that there was someone else here with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this, okay, if it's not a person, if it's not an ex or if it's not an actual person that intervened here, I feel like there's something here that might have wedged like space or distance between the two of you. So it's either, to me, it's coming up as an opposing influence or an opposing energy where I feel like there was someone else that might have gotten into this person's ear and said, you know, don't bother or, you know, don't, don't go through with this. Maybe this person was coming from a place of jealousy or insecurity. Maybe it was a jealous or a sour ex here. It could have been like a bitter energy. Um, or it, maybe it was an ex. That this person was still hung up on an ex. Um, it could have been work. Maybe this person, you know, they were going through some things and they just decided to really thrust themselves into work. So much so that they neglected on actually building a relationship with you or a connection with you. It Or it just could have been something else here. Like... They weren't ready. This is why I feel like something here has come between the two of you, unfortunately. Will they come back into your into your into your life? Will they come back here? Something says yes. Okay, something the cards are saying maybe, but the energies are leaning more towards, you know, yes on the scale of things. Why? Because Deep down inside, whether this person wishes to admit them to themselves or not, they had something special with you. And I feel like it's the whole notion of what could have been that's really going to get to them. So they will reach out to you when I feel like this person is in a better place. Now, you do have the number five that's come up twice. I feel like that is significant for a lot of you here. Um, and I feel like some of you, it may be a reference to the month so obviously may is the fifth month of the calendar you might reconnect with this person in may here in the month of may it might be five weeks five days from five months from now from the time that you hear this reading whenever that is for you it could mean it could indicate a time so when this person does reach out to you it may be like on the fifth like on the the fifth date or like a 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. something like that okay or I feel like if you connect like if you reach out to this person it's like they might reach like respond five minutes within your text but the number five however it plays into your situation I do feel like there's a strong significance here so I feel like there will be an opportunity for the two of you to reconnect only because something tells me like this to me feels like it's coming up as a soulmate connection so you have a soul contract that hasn't necessarily been yet fulfilled with this person. So your soul contract clearly states that you have unfinished business. So this is why I feel like, yes, there will be an opportunity for this person to come back into your life, okay? The sad news is it may not happen on your time frame because a lot of you, I did mention that at the beginning of this reading, a lot of you want it to happen sooner than later. And I get that, but sometimes things happen to, you know sometimes things happen for us and they don't necessarily happen within our timeline so and um water diet water energies here i feel like your best bet is to really try and let it go okay you are a water sign and water is fluid here so and you know when you think about the whole notion of water okay whatever vessel you pour the substance of water into it essentially will take shape and will take hold of that vessel so just let things go, okay? You guys are very, very adaptable. You know that. You don't need me to tell you that. And right now is, it's not the ideal time. It's not the ideal um, opportunity for a reconnection. This may be because this person is so busy on, you know, focusing on work or focusing on themselves that even if they did reconnect with you right now, it wouldn't happen the way in which you want it to happen. So, you know, you're, wherever you are right now with your energy at this point in time, okay, I feel like just enjoy it. It's not ideal, I get that, but you're not gonna be you're not gonna be here forever. You're going to be moving on to the next stage or the next phase of your life very soon. So enjoy the moment for what it is, even if it's not ideal, guys. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is just let it flow. Okay, let things happen to you. I feel like when you try and neutralize your situation, okay, it really helps because. I feel like you put yourself in a very powerful position when you're okay with something happening and okay with something not happening. I'm not saying that this is not happening, so don't you know misconstrue that there, but I feel like it's just not happening right now. And 
Temperance tells me that there's a need for you to be patient. Okay, put it out to the universe. Trust that there is going to be a reconnection because your person is coming up as a soulmate or your person is coming up as this energy where they feel like they need to reconnect with you because they need to, it's like a missed opportunity or it's like, you know, unfinished business. The Five of Swords tells me that there was some opposing influences, which is why it didn't work out between the two of you in the first place. The Five of Cups, I mean, I did, men, you know, I did go into detail with the Five of Cups here. You need to let go here, guys, because some of you are still fixated on why it didn't work. Okay, there's a, I could give you a string, a multitude of reasons why it didn't work out in the first place okay but if you keep going over that why if you keep fixating on why it didn't work or why it didn't happen you will live in the past you will continue to live in the past and by living in the past you're missing out potentially on all the great things that are coming for you so let go it didn't work out for whatever reason sometimes we don't need to know the reason okay maybe sometimes we're not ready to hear it not ready to accept it we don't need to know the reason. I mean, if you want to know the reason, to me, it feels like the timing was off, okay? But you will get that chance to reconnect, to possibly reconcile. It's just coming up as, to me, the energies are coming up as release, okay? Release any past hurts, any past judgment, release anything that's holding you back here and just you know, put out good thoughts, good intentions to the universe, and it will come back to you like a boomerang, okay, so be patient, because a lot of you, you're very intuitive, and I feel like you're only listening to this now, because you know deep down inside that your person is coming back to you, but you're only listening to this reading, or any other reading for that matter, because you just want confirmation, or you just want validation, okay, so if that's what you're after, I'm here to tell you that I trust that your person is going to come back into your life, however, I don't think it's going to happen when you want it, or I don't feel like it's going to happen when you least expect it. So you're ready, but this isn't about you being ready, okay? This is about them being ready, and they're not ready right now. This is what Pace, uh, Temperance tells us. The Nine of Wands, I feel like your person is, someone is coming up as very closed off or very guarded or even very hurt. And I feel like that person needs to be able, whatever this energy is, that person needs to be able to work on those things and they need to release that past hurt or release that past wound because essentially that's acting as a barrier from them coming back and entering your life. Okay guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages. For those of you that are after personal reading, whether you want me to follow on from these messages or any other for that matter, feel free to connect. Other, otherwise, guys, bye for now.